it's been great. Uh, I mean, quarterbacks in the room, Ben, uh, Travis, uh, you got Don, and uh, me helping me and Aiden out a lot. Uh, it's been great, man. We have guys that have been through this offense. Uh, I think, I don't know what year this, ben, this is for Ben going through the offense. I think it's like year four, year three. But you have a lot of veteran guys in the quarterback room that have gone through the offense, that have run it, been through a couple installs since they've been here. So it's been good to be able to pick their brain and for them to help us and also the coach Lingren and all the other coaches helping us out with the offense. But it's been good, though. How have you gone about trying to pick that up? Is that just a ton of film review or research or just throwing on the field, like all of it? Yeah, no, I think it uh, starts off with film room. You definitely want to get the play down, know it before you get to the practice. But and then you got to get you got to be able to get live reps. Mm -hmm. And when you get out here, you're getting reps with the receivers, getting the chemistry, getting the timing down. It's a little different when you see it on film and you get out here. It's a little different. Mm -hmm. But overall, man, you just got to be able to know, stay in peace and cues, know where people are at, know where the receivers are, and just trying to figure everything out. Of just how you ultimately chose to end up here. Uh, yep. You know, you obviously got in contact with you know Coach Smith and Coach Lingren, but you Sorry. committed sight unseen. Yeah, no, uh, I think shoot, going through the process. I mean, this is one of the top schools I wanted to come to. This is school I wanted to be at, uh, going through it. And for a little bit, I didn't know if that was going to be the case. Uh, I reached out in the beginning when I put my name in the portal. I reached out and didn't hear nothing back for like two weeks. And after them two weeks, I uh, got in, got in contact uh, with the old running back coach, uh, Coach Stu. And then he ended up getting me in contact with Coach Lingham and Coach Smith. So that's how it all came apart. And yeah, for me, I felt like this was the right place for me where I wanted to grow as a quarterback. And it's going to excel me to the next level and it's going to prepare me for what I want to do playing quarterback. And it was a pro style offense and had everything I was looking for. You know, I wanted to go somewhere that's going to maximize my potential, maximize my strengths as a quarterback. And I felt like Oregon State was the right place to go. So I appreciate nope. it. Though. Oh, wait a minute. You put your name in the portal and reached out to them and you didn't hear back for two weeks? A little bit, yeah. I think it was because they're feel good. That doesn't make you feel yeah. happy. <laughs> hey, man, you know, I just kept praying about it. I feel yeah. like watching film. I watch a lot of places. Uh, watch a lot of places. Watch a lot of film on Oregon State. Uh, watch a lot of the games, probably every single game. And I like what they did on offense. Uh, I feel like they had a really good team coming back, defense, offensive wise. Yeah. I feel like they knew they had good receivers coming back and had a good old line coming back. And I feel like it'd be a good fit for me to come here and they run a pro style offense. And that was somewhere I was looking to run and run the play action, deep, deep play action, big overs and different yeah. stuff like that. So I feel like it was a good place for me. So when Coach Smith and Lindgren finally get back to you, are you like, what? Why to? Why you? What happened? We oh, lost yeah, in translation no. there. Yeah, like, no, I, I think I think the biggest thing was they're in bowl prep, so they're yeah, preparing yeah. for bowl prep yeah, in the Las Vegas Bowl. So after that happened, then I got in contact with them. So I think that was the biggest thing. Like they're going through bowl prep and all that. And for me, I, I was I didn't really it didn't matter to me. Yeah. If they reached out or if they got back in a month. I felt like it was a good place for me. Was so was there any it. like a hesitation about not? I mean, you're going across the country to a little town yeah. in the northwest you've never been to, but that sure. no no hesitation there. You just felt felt right. Yeah. Yeah, no, for me, I didn't really need to see the place. Uh, for me, I've been in college for three years. I didn't really care about what the campus looks like or wherever, like a certain campus I went to, like what's the surrounding, if there's a lot of people there, there's a little bit of people. For me, it's kind of like a business decision. I want to go somewhere that's going to put me in the best position, put my best foot forward, and I felt like that was the right place. And for me, the biggest thing I want to talk about scheme, uh, the coaches, and uh, where they're planning to use me, and how they're going to make me a better quarterback, and how they're going to push me to be the better, best quarterback I can be. When we talked to Coach Lindgren last week, he was almost kind of pleasantly surprised that how much background info you had on Oregon State, sure. how much you knew about their offense, and just how complimentary you were. What ultimately made this like your number one spot? Yeah, no, I did my homework. Uh, for, for me, I wanted to go somewhere that was going to put me in the best position. And I did a lot of homework on a lot of different colleges. And ultimately, I did a lot of homework on Oregon State, lost a lot of games. And I told Coach Lingren I liked the way he called plays. Uh, I liked the different stuff they did under center. To me, it kind of reminded me of the offense they run here. It's kind of like San Francisco or the old uh, LA, uh, old LA Rams when they had Jared Goff there. And kind of similar to the McVay offense and uh, Shanahan, different stuff like that. And for me, I was, that's what I told him. I felt like that was a great system for me to learn from and to be able to grow my game in football and just understand the different checks and different stuff that they're going to have you do in the National Football League. How would you describe uh, your experience at Clemson and, and mm -hmm. just what kind of went wrong there? What made you want to leave? Uh, for me, man, I feel like, first of all, I think Clemson was a blessing. Uh, I thank all the people there that was there. I had great teammates, great coaches, uh, great people around there. But ultimately, I felt like I wanted to go somewhere that they're going to maximize my, uh, my talents at quarterback. I feel like uh, I wanted to go somewhere that was a little bit different, a little bit more pro style. I was going to play to my strength as a quarterback. And I feel like um, Oregon State was the best fit for me. So that's why I came here.
How much of a factor, too, was being close to family, obviously, with your brother being in Eugene, your family being on the West Coast? Did that factor into the decision, too? Uh, not not too much. I feel like, for me, man, I, I told all the coaches, people I was talking to, I said it didn't matter if I was going to play in Alaska if I was going to play down in Florida. I wanted to go somewhere that was going to put me in the best position to maximize my talents and uh, help me to just propel as a quarterback. So, And then I guess it was just a bonus coming to Oregon State. My brother's at Oregon. And I ended up becoming a bonus down the street from each other. So that's also super cool. My brother's 45 minutes away. I get to see him a lot. So that also helps a lot. You're looking many, forward to playing against him in November? Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, no, we talked a lot about that. And I'm just excited, man. I'm excited to see his career at Oregon. And excited to see how well he does at playing outside linebacker there. How many schools did you, like, contact or talk to like how many different coaches at schools did you contact before settling on, on OSU? Uh, I think for the most part when I put my name in a lot of places have reached out to me uh, different programs have reached out and for me I kind of had a set before I put my name in I kind of knew it was like a couple like you had a good group of schools where I knew like hey these are the type of schools I really want to look at mm -hmm. and I feel like those were the best fits for me but ultimately it was, it was a couple schools that reached out and I just kind of just weathered the process to, mm -hmm. uh, talk with family uh, people that I trust and we ended up coming with a decision for that State. Like the whole pro con list, like you got these five schools and this is good and bad about each, or was it not even, it was just like a feeling with Oregon State? Uh, it was a feeling. I feel like before I put my name in, I feel like it was one of the places I really wanted to come to. Mm -hmm. So I kind of knew that I ended up putting myself on the table. That was a great, great fit for me. We talked to Catan last week. He said he called you right after, you know, right around the time when you were deciding to come here or what have you, and you guys kind of talked and about your goals being the same and whatnot. Mm -hmm. How big was it to have, you know, guys on the team? reach out to you and be like, yeah, yeah we, no. we want to have you here and those kind of things. No, it was amazing. You know, I feel um, KT called me. Uh, I remember talking, uh, Doc told me he was going to have a player call me KT. I ended up looking him up. Man, he's a really good player. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll definitely talk to him. And for me, it was kind of like, man, I appreciate a player reaching out to me and just talking to me, just chatting up. And we talked about having the same goals aligned, like what I wanted coming here. And he was just telling us straight up, like, how the program works. And he's like, you know, this is what it, this is how it is here at Oregon State. And I respected him like that. So it was, it was cool, man. What's sort of the biggest thing that you're working on as far as the transition period? Is it more about, you know, just learning the plays and the schemes or is it building that chemistry with your new teammates, the wideouts? I think, I think it's both. Uh, at the same time, you got to be able to have the chemistry with the wideouts, but you also want to be able to know the plays and know inside and out. And uh, every time you step in the field, what, what's the play, what's going on, and the different schemes for it, and what's going to work for it. So for the, for the most part, it's been both. Are you a long, long ways away from that? Are you close? Or, like, where, where are you at in that process of... Oh, every day I feel like it's getting better and better. Every single day we have a new install, so learning a new install and then going back watching the film and learning from it. You ultimately, ultimately, you're going to make mistakes every day. So the biggest thing is not, not trying to make the same mistake twice and to learn from the mistakes and keep going and just keep pressing. You know, at the end of the day, just want to continue to keep getting better each and every day. For us TV guys, yeah. can you, as best you can, mm -hmm. Enunciate your last name so we can try <laughs> and do our best <laughs> and not butcher it every single time. Uh, you go Ui Anga Lele. So Ui Anga Lele. Okay, sir. Was it a difficult decision to, to leave Clemson? You said it was a blessing. Uh, sure. I mean, it probably felt like time, but was that, you know, what went into that decision? Was it tough? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think the toughest part, man, leaving my friends. You know, it was people I went to school there for three years. I was there for three years, and uh, the brothers on that team, man, I think that was the hardest part. You know, you got people like my roommates. Uh, I was there for three years with my boy Brian, uh, my boy Tyler, RJ. I was there with roommates for three years straight, mm -hmm. so being together with them all day long, I think that was probably the toughest part, just leaving people on the team and then the relationships you have there. And I feel like that's ultimately that was probably the toughest part, was just leaving, leaving the people you care about. Your thought process, I, I know it's super early for this question, but sure. is your thought process, are, are you thinking two years, one year, are you just thinking, see where things are at after next season and, and make the best decision? I think the biggest thing, man, just to focus on each and every day, uh, try not to look too far into the forward. Uh, ultimately, you have goals and stuff like that, but the biggest thing is that you got to maximize each and every day. Try to get 1% better. So for me, man, I'm just trying to take it day by day, and whatever happens down the line happens. So, you know, I just put my faith in God with that, and ultimately he has a, he has a plan. I'm just trying to put my best foot forward to follow it.